How do you construct a function to model a scenario? We'll look at this. A wild animal park opens with 100 antelope and the population grows 5 antelope per year. So in this lesson you will learn how to construct a linear function by calculating the slope and y-intercept given any representation. Let's review. A linear function has a constant rate of change, which we call the slope, and an initial value, which we call the y-intercept. So, for instance, if we say that every x is tripled, then increased by 2, 2 is our initial value, and tripled, or times 3, uh, is going to be our constant rate of change. So y equals 3 times x plus 2. If we see this in a table of values or a numeric representation, the initial value is going to be the, the y value when x is 0. And we can use first differences to identify the value of the slope, which is 3. On a graph, the initial value is the one that where the graph crosses the y-axis. And then again, showing the slope, the calculation for the slope is the change in y divided by the change in x. So 5 minus 2 and 1 minus 0, 3 divided by 1 is 3. A common mistake. So I wanted to point this out, so watch out for this one. The cost for a cell phone plan is $30 for a month for unlimited minutes. <clears throat> common mistake is to think that it's a vertical line where x, the number of minutes, equals 30. So what this indicates, though, is an infinite cost because the value uh, shoots off into infinity for uh, one specific 30 minutes of use. Right, so we're not locked into 30 minutes of use. Remember, our, our independent variable here is our minutes, and they're unlimited. So to say that we're locked in at 30 minutes uh, isn't, isn't right, and it doesn't make sense for a cost. All right. So what this should look like is a, is a horizontal line at the value y equals 30 because the cost is $30 for any amount of minutes that you use. This has a slope of 0, so watch out for this one. When you find a slope of 0, that's what it's going to look like, and that's the type of problem that will say um, we'll have something like that in it. Okay, off to our antelope problem. <clears throat> with a wild animal park, it opens with 100 antelope, and the population grows by 5 every year. Well, we know the y-intercept is 100 because that, in the wording here, the, ver the verbal representation indicates that we have 100 to start with. And every year, we get uh, 5 more antelope. So if we use our y equals mx plus b, we can replace the b value with 100 and the m value with 5. If we were given a numeric representation, we can identify the initial value because it's the value of the dependent variable when x, or the independent variable, is 0. So before any years have gone by, we start with 100 antelope. That's our initial value. And we can use our first differences again from our table to go ahead and find out what the value of the slope is. Slope is 5 divided by 1, which is 5. So you see we get the same equation, or function, that we had as the last uh, one. So the situation didn't change, the representation did. So another representation here is our graphic representation. And here what we can do is we can look at, uh, first of all, where the graph crosses the y-axis. So it crosses at 0, comma 100. So at, before any years have gone by, we have 100 antelope. So that's always the mainstay. We can really count on that one. And then to find out the rate of change here, you know, we can count. So we identify two points. So I identified 2, 110 because that's another part of the graph that it, it crosses at a known sort of intersection there. And so I count. Two years, uh, the antelope went up 10. So I can do my change in y divided by change in x, which is 10 divided by 2, and that's 5. So again, we should get the same equation, and we do. So we took all three of those uh, different representations and we made a function. So in this lesson, you've learned how to construct a linear function by calculating the slope and the y-intercept when given any representation. <laughs>